a product that I, I want to review that I picked up from Ulta about a couple weeks ago. I actually picked it up when it first launched in stores, which I think was not this past weekend, but the previous Sunday, is the Melissa Michelle and Ulta palette. This is a palette by a YouTube beauty vlogger. Her name is Melissa Michelle. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of her. She's pretty known on YouTube. And this is a collaboration with Ulta. And I saw it on Instagram. It was all over my Instagram feed and it was on YouTube as well so I decided to do a little bit more research and I went to her channel and I went ahead and just checked out this for the first time kind of wanted to see what kind of colors were in the palette the pigmentation and all that fun stuff and I actually ended up really really liking the palette I thought it was a perfect kind of essential palette to have it has like stable warm neutral colors that you can really use on an everyday basis. I think this palette would be great for any beginner who is just starting in makeup because you have a good amount of mattes and a good amount of shimmers to work with. It also comes with a highlighting powder and a blush powder and a liquid lipstick. So I really think that this kit would be really good, like I said, for someone who is just starting in makeup or who is wanting to get into makeup and kind of hesitant on a palette to pick up as their first palette. Not only is it super um, convenient because it has a lot of, you know, neutral colors that you can wear every day, it also only costs $20. So this is only sold at Ulta, obviously, because it is an Ulta collaboration, but I really like the palette itself. I think the whole concept of it is really nice, but I just wanted to go ahead and do like a first review, first impression on this as well. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I will go ahead and have some swatches for you, like always, just so you can kind of see how they swatch. I'm going to go ahead and use a blush right now. This is, it's called Mahal, I believe that's how you say it. It's just like this really kind of nice, nudie kind of mauve blush. forgot I wanted to use this. But yeah, it showed up really nicely. She did say that this is a good blush for all skin tones. So you could definitely, you know, build it up or you can just keep it super sheer. I'm going to go ahead and just keep it sheer. Because so I'm going to go ahead and pick up this first color, Wheezy, which is just the lightest matte shade in this palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my entire eye as a base. Then I'm going to go ahead and use the color Rosemary for a transition color. It's just this really pretty brown nude color. The colors blend out really nicely. They show up really nicely as well. I don't have any issues as far as it showing up in my eyes. They blend great. The pigment's nice. No chalkiness of any kind, and this is just a transition color. Now I'm going to go in with the color Bing Bing, and this is just a kind of true brick red. I'm going to go ahead and use my Sigma E35 because it is a little bit more pointier. The palette does have a little bit of fallout, nothing extreme. So I'm just focusing this Bing Bing color in the crease of my eye, and I'm kind of dragging it on my lid but focusing it more to just deepen that crease so then I'm gonna go ahead and go in and I'm just gonna pick up some of the color Terra Cita and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on the lid of my eyes the glitter pigments have some fallout as well I'm first going in with just a dry brush because I like to try these kind of more metallic shimmery colors on their own before applying any type of fix plus to my brush it gives me just a really kind of light application it's not super pigmented when just using a dry brush and i'm using a synthetic brush too which is which are pretty much the purpose is to be used with pigmented colors so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to spray some of my primer water. Yeah, it works a lot better with the brush wet. So grab your Fix Plus, grab your primer water, whatever you use. Go back in with my blending and kind of just blend all that. And I'm going to take a little bit more of that Bing Bing and just add it. 
And I think I'm going to go ahead and add some darkness to this look. I'm going to take the color Harley, which is the darkest uh, and only brown in the palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and focus that on the outer corner of my eye. This one isn't really showing up that well. I'm probably going to have to keep building it up. This one isn't that pigmented. I definitely need to like really put my brush in there. I'm using the Morphe M305 brush, which are my favorite brushes to use for like outer corner colors, at least for my eye shape. So it just kind of gives you more of like a very softer smoky eye kind of look. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that same brown and put it in the inner corner of my eye to kind of give this a halo look. I'm just going to go back in and pick up some of that wheezy color and kind of just buff out the top. And I think I'm going to go back in with some of that bing bing because he kind of got it taken away and just add it up here. Because I really like this color. I really like these kind of brick reds. I'm going to finish my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and just do dip back into that Harley color. And I'm just going to smoke out my bottom lash line. And I'm going to go ahead and take this kind of more, it's still small, but it's a little bit more fluffier. And I'm going to dip into that Bing Bing color. Just swoop it right underneath that Harley. Give me more of a smoked out look. So now that I went ahead into both eyes, I'm going to go back into the Terista color, which is that gold color I used for my lid. And I'm just going to add a little bit more right to the center. So it kind of has more of a popping effect. So cool. So that's pretty much it for the eyes, like eyeshadow wise. I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal. This is quickly become one of my favorite mascaras. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my false lashes. Um, they're kind of extreme just because they're really long. They're the Salon Perfect Go Glam Multi Pack and they're just really kind of long and spidery, wispy, whatever you want to call it. Um, I really like them. I think they're cool. They're a little bit more dramatic. They do cover kind of the entire eye, but I think with this look it works. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply some clear brow gel. This is by Anastasia just to kind of set my brows. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do some highlight. I'm going to obviously use the highlight in her palette called Holler really cute it does have three different colors it looks like i'm gonna do it obviously first without any type of fix plus or oh this is really nice mm. i like it i like it very very pigmented And then I'm going to go ahead and finish this look off with her matte liquid lipstick. This is in the color Scandi, which is kind of just like a nice, like, nudie color. I would definitely say this is a mauve, mauve nude. I wanted to use this Lola color in the palette and just go ahead and hit the inner corner of my eyes for some highlight. Really pretty. So quickly, just my thoughts on this Melissa Michelle by Ulta palette. Definitely something great, like I said, for a beginner, someone who's just wanting to start out in makeup, who really wants kind of 
a variety of different things as far as like eyeshadow, highlight, blush, lipstick. Having all that accessible in just one palette I think is really nice. I really like the idea of that. I think the colors are very nice. They are super neutral, super warm. Definitely good enough mattes and shimmers to kind of do a full look. You can definitely do different looks with these as far as day and night. I do wish the shimmery uh, colors, specifically Lola, were just a little bit not so with a lot of fallout. I just feel like when you try, when I tried applying Lola, especially to the inner corner of my eye and underneath my brows for the brow bone highlight, it just really kind of just went everywhere. It really didn't apply to my skin. It kind of just it was like a dust and just like all the glitter kind of flew everywhere else. When it comes to like shimmers like that, I just wish it, they were just a little bit easier to apply. Other than that though, I really do like the palette. The mattes blended beautifully. They showed up great. I didn't have any issues with it blending, no chalkiness, no nothing. But I feel like as far as the blending and the actually applying with the brush, it did a really great job and I don't have any complaints about that. So yeah, overall I think this palette is good and I think it's great actually for $20. I think it's well worth the $20. Like I said, you're getting a liquid lipstick, a full size at that. You're getting a highlighting powder, a blush powder, and then you get nine eyeshadow colors. Yeah, so that's the finished look you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and getting ready with me and using a new palette.